Hey friends and welcome back to my nail table. So today we are going to be doing a really fun set inspired by Beetlejuice. It's one of my favorite Halloween movies. I am going to start off by applying just white to I think like four of these nails and curing them in my lamp. Two coats each of course. Now I'm not the best at painting stripes so I'm going to go in with my little cheer stamping plate here. <laughs> Um, I believe this is by Clear Jelly Stamper, and I'm going to use that to apply my stripes here. I did add an additional one down the middle, as you can see here. Um, and then from there, I'm going to go ahead and top coat this. And I got wild hair and decided that I was going to try to um, add these little V shapes at the top and at the bottom to kind of give it um, the look of a tie or shirt you know in the movie that he's wearing uh so yeah once i get done polishing the little v here at the top and the bottom i will just pop that into my lamp for an additional 30 seconds and then i got another wild hair and decided that i was going to do the little grunge look you know in the movie how he looks really green and yucky so if i would have thought ahead i definitely would have done my base um, with the white, you know, I would have done like a little grunge slash marble look um, before doing my stripes so that that would have already been down. So now I'm just applying all of this on top, which is fine. You can do it either way. It came out just fine. But so I'm using three different colors from Madam Glam here to give it a lot of dimension. So I'm just going to be applying this all over the nail. Doesn't really matter where you're putting it at all. I mean, unless you think it matters. <laughs> so I'm just applying this all over the place and I am adding different greens for different dimensions. And once you're happy with whatever you have come up with, then you're just going to pop that into your lamp for 30 seconds and cure it. So I will catch you here in a few minutes in the next step. Okay, and then from here, I decided I was going to do two ombre nails, and this is kind of inspired by that silly scene, you know, the graveyard scene where, um, he is, <laughs> he's going into like the strip club. It cracks me up. Okay, so I'm going to ombre these together. Um, don't worry about your first, first coat not being perfect. You want to get it as close as you can, and then your second coat will kind of cover all of your imperfections up. So you will see here, I'm going to just kind of wipe these together as much as I can. Once you're happy with um, your second coat, you can go ahead and top coat everything. Well, I decided I was going to go ahead and be a little extra and use the color Purple Sky and add um, a little bit of that glitter to the top of the nail. So I ombre that once again down into the purple just to kind of give it a sparkly look, like a sparkly night sky look. Okay, and then after that, then I go in with my water decals and I'm going to use some little um, crosses in like a graveyard scene. Um, I This is a pretty long water decal, so I cut it in half and it worked out perfectly to use on both nails. Once you're happy with your placement, then you can go ahead and top coat those as well. Pop them into your lamp for another 30 seconds. And then for the next nail, I was going to do this little... Um, swirly thing here and I thought I had a stamping plate for this and by gosh darn it I do not and that took me a while to do <laughs> so I'm gonna have to find me a little swirly stamping plate but I went ahead and added in this little green slime just to kind of tie all the neon green together and then for my last nail I decided I was gonna do this cute um spider web thing here and I completely forgot to press record so I'm so so sorry but thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, follow me over on Instagram. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. I'd love to chat with you. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.